In this video, we will examine a particular boat excavated near the ancient city of Dora Europos. We will talk about the Yurtsi bow. This is one of the earliest examples of composite bows with static tips from approximately 2000 years ago. It's a bow dated around the time and location of the Roman Parthian Wars, a bow possibly used by Roman auxiliary and Parthian archers. Now notice the tips are similar to the earlier Assyrian bows in the sense that they are not recurved and later on you'll find that the tips are made of bone which is unlikely to flex so the tips would be static. Based on the diagram here you can see that the core is wood and the backing is some kind of tendon and the belly is made of horn. So we talked about the bone strip, which is intended to increase the stiffness of the tips. And interestingly, bone strips similar to the Yurtsi bow have been found distributed across Central Europe from the Russian steppe to the British Isles in contexts which date from the 2nd to the 6th century AD. Since this bow is dated around the time and location of the Roman Parthian Wars, People speculate about the origin of this bow and who would likely use it. Were they used by the Parthians? Were they used by the Romans? Were they used by the Syrians? It is likely that the Yurtsi bow has influences from the earlier Assyrians due to the resemblance of its general shape. But the Middle East was such a melting pot of cultures, so likely you can never trace to one particular origin. It is likely a mixture of cultures that influence the Yurtsi bow. Now, it is unlikely that this bow design would be influenced directly from Italian Rome. Uh, of, of course, we know Romans uh, specialize in heavy infantry, and the bow was never something that they were known for. So it is unlikely the bow originates all the way from Italy. It is much more likely originated in the East. So could it be of Parthian origin? If we look at the Parthian coins around this time period, it seems that most of the Parthian bows, based on the coins, are of Scythian design. So maybe these simple reflex bows were not so common as military bows? Well, the archaeological findings we have of bows in general of this time period are so scarce, and art is always unreliable. Now that I talked about the history, I'll show you some replicas. Sammy D is a hornbow maker in Australia, and here is a Yurtsi bow design he made. Maple core with acacia reinforced tips. It also has a buffalo horn belly. The draw weight is 36 pounds at 28 inches, um, but this bow is meant to be drawn to 32, and the length is 54 inches overall. He did not measure the arrow speed, but for my bow, I did measure this. And here's my bow made by Total Harris. It's 41 pounds at 28 inches. It can also be pulled 32. Total did the testing for the speed with a 33 gram arrow. And that's at 28 inches. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Uh, if you want to support this channel, just hit a like and comment, and you can subscribe.